What's up, everyone? No respawn. So, we're back at the castle. This will be my third castle build, and I'm quite excited about this one. So, this is just the, this video is going to be me repairing this wall. Kind of pre pretty much the same structure as the last castle build video back in early 2016. Uh, that one was actually pre any DLC, if I remember correctly as well. <laughs> so that was literally just using the vanilla elements. So it's going to be quite exciting. It's a mix of mods and also the DLC bits, as you can see. Now, what we're using here, the reason for this floor, this is the floor from the warehouses tab, is one, it's very, very uh, unassuming. Like, it's not really in your face. But also, it has, for whatever reason, weirdly generous snapping which you're gonna see when I link the two angles together it's it's very unique to this style of floor um, if you notice those of you who use this floor pieces if you're using the grated warehouse floors you'll also notice that they snap together in a weird way as well that like you can put them on top of each other so it's 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 quite unique so it's very very useful for doing this now just a quick note the way we're gonna structure the castle videos is very similar to how I did them before so, for example, I'm just repairing this section of wall in this video, I'll have a gatehouse video, and then we'll probably have another walls video, that kind of thing. Now, the whole style of this is going to probably be a little bit different to my old, because I've done two castle videos, so I I'm not going to link them. If you just search Fallout 4 Castle, both my castle videos should come up in the, uh, I think pretty much it's just my videos and maybe a couple other people's, so they're really good. But... I'm trying to go with this one as a little bit more of a subtle castle. So my last castle was quite in your face. There were walkways everywhere. Uh, it's it's quite a cool little build. Do you see what I mean, by the way? Like, just everything just snaps together. It's it's awesome. <laughs> so yeah, it, it's, it's very, very cool. So this one I'm going to try and be a little bit more... I, I want it to be hyper-detailed, but in a bit more of a, I guess, almost realistic way. So one thing I'm not doing, because I thought they looked a little bit too in your face, was I'm not adding any railings you may notice when i did my last castle i kind of the whole thing was railings around the entire top and i don't want to do that at all on this now one thing i'm going to note what this is because you see with my last castle i had walkways going across the entire the entire battlements because obviously you've got those kind of you've got these fixing these gaps here but then you've also got the kind of quite uneven ground surrounding the like the top I still don't know how I'm going to do that, and what I'll probably do is do a video where it's just us kind of doing that, but it's not going to be as in your face as the last one. It's still umming and ahhing on it. It also means that there's some details I'll add to this castle wall, um, which I will do. Like, for example, I put some barricades and stuff at the top, but I keep it quite low-key, so we will see. But anyway, this is really good. This turns out so much better than I was expecting. <laughs> I'm having that a lot recently. I've been holding off on the castle because it's quite an undertaking but now i've kind of had my taste i'm like okay this is gonna be good this is gonna be good in a way i don't know if it'll be my aim is for it to be a bit more believable than the my last castle and in a way it won't be as clusterfucky but it's still gonna be very scrappy looking so pretty much the core of the repairing these walls is using these they're the junk walls, but these uber big ones, and they're going to be reversed, so you know, my reverse junk walls. This isn't necessarily the most original idea in the world. I've had this suggested to me multiple times, and it was always kind of my go-to technique I wanted to use, because as you'll see when I finish, it just works so well. Like, this castle wall just is amazing. Now, one thing as well, there are probably mods you can download on PS4. I didn't bother checking, but there are probably mods that can remove all of that rubble. You can use the scrap that settlement mod, but it doesn't actually remove much of it. What it does for these piles of kind of, you know, the pile of stone there is it kind of removes the texture from it, but it still actually leaves the pile. It looks a little bit shit. So I decided to end up, I decided to just leave it and I'm still going to kind of build around it. You can still remove bits and pieces. So I'd recommend checking around, but obviously I've got it disabled right now because it would, it does get in the way of my... Kind of sinking in of my junk walls here. This is pretty much most of the video actually search me doing this. <laughs> Just a spoiler. But it works so well. Oh, it looks so good. Now, I don't do any... Because remember, where I had this one, and actually my last two castle videos, I think both of them had it, was quite a, a funky little walkway going up to this side of the building here. I think my plan is to have kind of a ladder walkway thing, but I don't know how... It's, it's cool. I'm really excited by this build. 
because it's one of the, how can I put this? It's one of the major settlements which has been bothering me I haven't touched yet. See, because on this save of Fallout, I've deliberately, just for the sake of my heavy RP, I haven't finished it yet. I've, I've completed the game before, but on this save, I'm pretty much, spoilers, but like, I'm kind of at the Institute, kind of just in there, in that bit, you know, not really angered. I'm friends with everyone, basically, right now. And I kind of don't want to advance, even though I've, you know, played the game to death, and, you know, it's more than happy kind of just taking breaks between playing kind of sections of it. But I don't want to finish the game until all of my settlements are done. <laughs> and this one especially. It looks so good. It looks so good. Ugh. Now you will see when I do the... When we do the tour. That there's still lots of detail needs to be added to the floors. Because one thing you're going to notice with the castle. Specifically the floors that I've put in. Is that as you can see they're a bit... It's, it's very difficult to not have them look a little bit much. Like, you kind of go a wee bit cross-eyed just looking at them. It's just because, obviously, the rep repetition of the same texture. Now, I could obviously, and what I might end up doing is maybe replacing... It's tempted to replace a few bits with the grated floors, but then I think it would look a bit weird because you just kind of see giant gaps in between. But, basically, we do put a little bit of plywood, and I'm going to have to design a solid pattern. So, I put a kind of patches just to kind of break it up so you don't go cross-eyed walking across it. But I will eventually... Basically, we're going to have a whole video that's going to be kind of... Something about adding the, something about the battlements. It'll be just like adding details to the battlements. I don't know what to call it yet. Um, but I'm probably going to do that later down the line because I want to kind of get the beef of the castle done. Like I want to do the gatehouse and I want to kind of put stuff on the inside. Like the inside, I'm, I'm unsure how I'm going to do it yet. I kind of... Oh, I'm excited. It will probably will be similar-ish in terms of a lot of the conventions I had in my last one. So, for example, I really liked the walkways in my last castle series so i'm just kind of i'm mulling over but i think the gatehouse the gatehouse will probably be a lot simpler mainly because we have mods and we have more tools available to us because i remember my last gatehouse was quite ostentatious with my you know my incredibly borderline esoteric walkway <laughs> um so it will be it will be quite interesting ah oh, I'm, I'm liking this yay it'll be cool it'll be cool at some point soon i'll have to start using the conquest mod to actually open up new settlements because I'm running out. I'm running out, guys. I'm trying to think. What settlements do we have left? Like, I haven't physically done a build on yet at all. So, King Spot Lighthouse. Taffington Boathouse. Is that here? Ooh. I think that might be it. Oh, um... What, Somerset House? We haven't done one there yet. I mean, on this save, there are still quite a few missing. I haven't done Red Rocket. I haven't... Uh, oh, we've got all this. We've got the... Far Harbour settlements. We've got quite a few, but I've kind of maybe only got three settlements that I haven't done a video on now, which is quite, quite insane. The good thing is we're at that time of the year where all the new games are coming out, so I can start. <laughs> basically, like, the last big update for Fallout was what? I mentioned this before in my update video, but basically it was, um, I think November, and... The problem is with just the timing of that is that's when the drought of new games... Like, you, you probably notice, like, you'll see a few new games coming out, but not, like, the big major releases since, kind of, December, and they start coming in now. So hopefully there should be interesting stuff. I was going to do Mass Effect Andromeda, but it just didn't really suit the style of the... There wasn't really much to do. I was hoping more from the Outpost from that. It's a cool game, but I was hoping more. But anyway... So as you can see with this part, the reason why I'm using these flat walls is just to the height. It'll look a little bit silly if when I tried to put the junk high walls in, junk high, the, the large junk walls in, trying to put them in, they'd be floating a little bit. So you pop these in like this, and then I can just put these against it, and it looks pretty cool. Quick note, I don't show you because it was just a quick fix, but I didn't end up putting those as close as I should have. So I, if, when I go at, went up to the top, there were actually a big gap between that and the floor. However, the cool thing is, what I could do, and if you make some mistakes at this ground, because those, the floors up the top there just kind of snap easily in, I was actually able to take off the closest side to this side of the wall, and then I just basically pillar glitched this entire wall section in a couple of inches, and it just closed up the gap. I was going to eventually, I tried, um, I had to reload because I tried covering up the gaps of loads of 
ply board and it just looked absolutely bollocks so <laughs> it looks good now this looks this is gonna be so cool um by the way i've started because you were gonna get a video yesterday i had a mod review planned and it was gonna be of custom vanilla assets i'm still gonna do one of that because i'm that's one of the people who are recommending to me but the mod's a little bit glitchy and i'm trying to get it so it works properly it froze up on me twice and those of you who know I'm having that issue where all of my menu objects are invisible. So when I'm now you say so you look there, you can see the rotating junk fence. I can't physically see anything of the custom vanilla assets, and I'm not sure if it's my meant to be like that or not. So I'm going to try and fiddle around with it and get it looking good because I, I don't want to have a I'd ideally not have a mod review where it's just me, you know, screwing around just kind of scrolling through invisible menus for ages. Uh, but it is pretty cool. There's lots of funky stuff in there. Um, stuff I'm going to make use when we actually start kind of really working on the castle because there's obviously lots of open space, lots of big bits that we can make use of this. So I'm kind of, yeah, but that was meant to be yesterday and to be utterly frank, I rage quit. <laughs> what happened was is I, I placed on... Um, there are those lights on the strings. You know when you've probably been on raider bases and you see those kind of lantern lights on the cables? adds them which are great except i placed a load down when i was testing it and i thought okay you because you could place them down they didn't have any collision at all you could just place them down anywhere and then when i went to record i couldn't place them down at all like it physically just wouldn't let me and it made no logical sense and i got really angry so i said you know what fuck off i'll build the castle and i'll try this another day <laughs> um but yeah this looks really good i'm so pleased with this just Loads of little stuff here you couldn't do without mods. Just, you know, just kind of blocking up these gaps here. The pillars. I mean, like, for example, when I did... Not even with mods, with DLC. When I did my original castle, I, I didn't even use this pillar glitch. Like, this this is pre-pillar glitch, my original... Actually, it's not even my original castle. It's my second castle. I don't think we even had scaffolding back then. We might have actually... I don't think so. I can't remember, but I don't believe so. I think this is pre-Concrete Pillar and all that jazz as well. So there's just, like, so much we didn't have access to. It's still an awesome build. It's a great build. It's a bit of um an FPS nightmare. <laughs> but it looks really, really cool. So I'm, I'm very pleased with how this is already shaping up. And I'm just very pleased with actually starting it. But I've got a plan. So I'll do the Gatehouse next. Next Fallout video that I'm going to start trying. going to do another non-Fallout video this week. I just don't know what off game. Anyway, here it is. So I just see, um, you'll see at the top there, we've added a few barricades and bits and pieces. Just going to break it up, but I will do a full video later down the line where we're kind of putting walkways at the top and kind of adding detail to the castle. Because it's obviously quite a huge build, this, so it's going to, it's better to chop it up. It'll be a bit of a nightmare if we do it in one big go and I'd probably, you know, hang myself. But it looks just like how crisp it is. Anyway, I hope you guys liked that and excited as I am because I'm really keen to start tackling the castle. Just a record, this will be the last... I'm not doing a castle 4.0. <laughs> this is it. This will be the third castle. I'm not doing another one after this, but it's going to be a cool one. So anyway, as always, follow me on Twitter at NoRespawns. I'll have a video up soon, and you guys enjoy your week. You take care. <laughs>